Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal campaign uh, playthrough. Uh, last time we left off, we went to orbit and um, atmosphere. I have selected a contract to explore the moon. Um, next morning here, trying to uh, make some progress. So we unlocked basic rocketry and advanced rocketry. Um, now I'm saving up for got basic science. I need electronics. Um, I need solar panels. Without solar panels, we're not going to the moon. So, uh, kind of need another 40, 37 science, 36.8 if you want to be precise. Um, so, I need to fly some mission and see what we can get. Um, so, atmospheric survey. So, take pressure readings in flight below. You're there. Okay, so that's what we have active. Actually, hold on a second. Parachute. Focus observational survey. Hmm. All kind of grind missions here. So I got moon selected here. Um, all we gotta do is just um, fly by and gather something. So it doesn't have to be even manned. It just has to be a probe or something. So, I'm not sure. Um, I'll get 40. Excuse me, so I'm just trying to figure out here. Okay, so let's. Right here, they want to um, have a stack decoupler, carbon, suborbital drift, gel, to stack decoupler. Significant. So let's do this one. And while we're in space, we get us some science. Hopefully, that should push us to um, the solar panel, and then we can do the moon. There you go. So, TR18 stack decoupler. Here we go. It's gonna build the spacecraft here. So, um, there's a probe. Call this X1. Okay. Nick, um, I need some. Next question is it coming back? Well, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can do something clever like this. This part's are here from a uh, Tantarus mode. Um, I'm trying to they're using stock uh, textures so it doesn't um, reduce your memory but at the same time make it look part look more realistic real worldwide versus cartoonish and the ksp so this one gives us plenty of delta v here but that's not the idea anyway so i'm not gonna the idea is to get to uh, 200,000 uh, kilometers, right? That's, that's a decoupler. So, this is a decoupler in question. I'm gonna put it right here. That small little engine. There you go. Don't like the aerodynamics of it. Nothing can be done about that right now. I'm gonna put another stage here. There you go. So plenty of delta V to get this up. Uh, let's use some batteries on this. Why not? Four batteries. Um, communication, definitely communication with this. As it will. It will not fly without it. Okay. Some symmetry. It's not coming back, or is it? That is a good question. 
do we want this sucker to come back? As a scientist in general, yeah, we do want it to come back, I think. So, let's do this. Like that. So, um, engineers on. Some different parts in here. Telescope. Telescope, yes. We haven't done telescope yet, so we might as well do telescope. Crook it. So we can do something straighter. Okay, a little bit offset, but. There we go, I think it's perfect. It's one. Okay, that's nice and straight. Then we'll do um, experimental storage unit when we need that. Now, let's do um, temperature scan. And um, oceanography, why not? Now what, let's squeeze a mystery glue in there as well. So, completely not aerodynamic, but whatever. Um, electrical guy, we got communications, utilities, so we need parachutes. And the two parachutes hold them together. And, um, probably need a heat shield. I don't need a heat shield, so... Structural utility to parachute. Um, interestingly enough, I don't think we have. Yeah, I don't think I have heat shields. Thermal, there we go. Heat shield. 1.2 meters. What is that? Small little issue, okay. There we go. That heat shield is heavy. Because by Delta V just dropped from five six thousand to um to forty five hundred, so I'm gonna have to supplement this rocket with a couple of solid boosters, I think. Nice and cheap. Yep. Six hundred, there we go. And, um, okay, some aerodynamics. Um, put some fins on it, and some fins on this too. Is it? Oh, I see. Um, There we go. Okay. Let's lower the thrust here. 1.4. It's fine. I want this to go with it. Okay. Add that, then this will fire. This will fire. That, and then we have. A return package. Yeah, I think that's us. As long as we don't tip over at the beginning, we're okay. I also took liberty of adding uh, transfer window alarms. So uh, we have a mo carbon to moco transfer it's in seven days, so that's we can send a probe out. And then um, Jewel is next in line and Dune in almost a year or so. So we'll go from there. So we have no SAS module. Um, I don't want to waste any of those yet. So let's fire her up. Uh, minimal thrust here on the main engine. 
uh, let the solar boosters take us away. Nice lift off. We are accelerating a little bit too fast. The speed is what worries me. It's um, yeah. It wants to tilt right away. So I'm gonna have to accelerate to compensate for that because that is a swivel and be able to give us a control. I just don't want it to tip. But the problem is, the faster we go, the more it wants to tip because the air pressure pushing down on it. So I, I ended up accelerating and like just to balance it out at this high speed. So, so I'm going to maintain the velocity at this point, straight up, not the previous ascent as well. The sooner we get to the thinner atmosphere, the better it will be um, in terms of control. It's, it's freaking, it's all over the place. Woo. Separate, oh, Jesus. Oh God, what happened? Okay, I'm gonna boost it up. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? What the hell is happening? And I'm spinning out of control. Okay, well, I think I regained it. It's gonna go straight up at this point. out of fuel. Finally got it. Finally got it. Well, let's try pushing it out. I'm not giving up on it. I think can have it. I need to be at 200,000. That's all I need to be. I have plenty of fuel to get there. But holy crap, was that ugly. It's a balancing act. That's what it was. So, what was happening is we were going so fast through atmosphere, the air was pushing down at the tip of the rocket and I was trying to uh, flip it over so I was trying to balance it with the, using the uh, swivel engine and I kind of managed doing that until I lost right at the end the separation because it switched the mass I guess a solid, a solid boosters run out of fuel so it became lighter and then it wanted to go the other way and I had to catch that moment that, which I did but that's a separation we lost it there for a second so I'm gonna just gonna go straight up as much as I can. Because then we will be coming down. There we go. So now I gotta wait for the moment until we get to two hundred thousand. So this way I can separate it. Collect all the signs, all of it. So pressure, material speed. That's a big one, 25. Keeping that. Coming up to the. There we go. That's the mission. Yep, completed. Mystery crew observation. A little bit of signs from there. Okay, so now we're gonna go up all the way. Let's do another telescope. Can't be done right now. Okay, and here we go, coming down. And my electric charge is out because my batteries were with that stage. 
which sucks. So now I have no probe control, which means we're gonna crash. Ah, typical, typical crap. Yeah, well, there's that. Right, that didn't go well at all either. Hmm, well, that's actually very interesting. So let's go back to uh, space station. Well, that's a problem. So even if we had the batteries, um, she wasn't stable enough to, to stay stay upright. Sad. At least we did that mission. So our mission is completed. What else we got there? Um, that's the parachute, altitude 11,000. Yeah, that should be f e fairly easy. But the speed requirements are kind of tough. Let's see. Let's see if we can just fly for. If we can revisit this design. doing here is uh, fixing the, the batteries make sure we have power on this thing I'm gonna fly out again, do exactly the same thing. No pressure. Just collect some sands. And then we're off to the moon. Did it with this uh, thrust limitation here. Now this will be not powerful enough to push us out fast enough. So I'm burning more liquid fuel than solar boosters. And we're still trying to tip over, huh? Oh Jesus. Come on. Come on. Nope. Doesn't have it. that hmm I did back to the drawing board okay let me see what am I what have I done wrong here Okay, so it is nose heavy because of all these batteries on top. Mm -hmm. Not enough thrust. No, let's bring it up a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. 
All I want to do is go up, get some science, come back down. Very simple. How complicated could that be? Tip. Just keep an eye on the ball here. She's doing the same thing again. Trying to balance her out. A full throttle now. Jesus. I still have her. Straighten her up. Nope, nope, nope. No, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You're mine. There we go. Straight up. Straight up. Keep going. Keep going, sweetie. Nope, nope. Jesus. There's something wrong with this rocket. There's a lot of things wrong with this thing. Barely flying. Slow down a little bit. Okay, good separation. Crap, that was edgy. Jesus. Well. I should go into orbit if I wanted to. Uh, let's see if I can do that. Let's burn a little bit. It's being in the ass with that SAS. Okay, let's get some data. So, this is um, the material bay, is the biggest one 25 science. Mystery goo. Not much here. So I'm not gonna waste that. Temperature scan, yes, we want it. So pressure scan 12, yes. down here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this fuel to slow down so I don't burn up. Again, flying with that SAS, it's so intensive um, in terms of attention and all, and you have to pay attention to it. 
you have to be constantly moving your fingers around. It just wants to go all over the place. Um, let me see if I can. If I can keep the whole thing to save some dollars. By moving this down, I have to separate this lower stage, open the parachutes up. If it works, um, I mean, if it's slow enough, if we slow enough, then uh, I don't need to ditch it. Recover some credits there. So we're coming down pretty fast. Find the altitude 10,000 meters. Or slowing down, though, that's good. Let's see. Let's go this open. Let's uh, toggle the shutter. So it doesn't get damaged. There we go. So no point of reference whatsoever, just water. Uh, it's 3,000 meters. Let's see a little quick. All right, let's deploy the parachutes. See if that's uh, okay. Yeah, okay. So slow this down to four meters per second, which is slow enough for this to survive in the landing. Um, electric charge is coming down. It's okay. Speed up the time. Science and no reaction wheel scan circle on huh? mission on oh so you can hibernate so when he hibernates doesn't consume any electricity and then turns on oh very interesting all right so you know what we could have latched that probe to the moon really that's what we could have done I didn't know about this hi hibernation thing that they had but, um, that's great that's great to know but we're still gonna get the electrical charges there you go we got 34 cents left yeah, I don't think of this stuff yet yeah, let's do a flyby in the moon. There's gonna be even more science here. The moon fly by. There we go. Um, what can I do to make this rocket better? What do I need this to return? Yes, I do need this return, so... Yes, I'm keeping this part, really. I'm gonna have to keep this part. Uh, I'm just gonna have to put some electrical charges on it. Maybe add a, a battery. There we go. Galore. Communications. So five hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, five million. We need a long range communicator. Antenna, that's for sure. It's gonna go.
Okay. Um. Some more science here. What is this? This is um. Radio plasma wave science. Yes, we want that. We want that. That's how it would look like. How? Try that, okay. Um, maybe. Yeah, I'm just keep adding stuff to it. I mean, it is going to the moon after all, so whatever. Um, just need to fix our rocket for this. What we need to do? Oh, what can I do to make it better? Okay. Stronger. Uh. Just thinking out loud here. This one do is uh, I add another stage swivels and then make this a reliant. Reliant is a little more powerful. Two sixty two hundred four in versus two hundred fifteen. There we go. All three of them start up. Four of them. Yeah, that could probably do it, huh? Let's just see. See how that work. <laughs> okay. Okay, move five by so we got three thousand dollar rocket. Okay, so we got these four engines starting, these separators here, this one main cell, the main cell, the line. Delta V should be okay for flyby, I think. Uh, just do uh, one more tank here, just in case. Oh, Jesus, what I wear, I do now. There we go, 6300. Yes, okay. So it is still going to be top heavy, very top heavy. I know I say yes, but because we have so many swivel engines on four, we should be able to control it much better. So 75% power, and uh, let's see what happens. It's very controllable so far. So, uh, let's put down here a tiny bit. Yeah, 
and she still wants to go all over the place. Uh, please. It's just controllable. Okay, time to do some signs because I don't think it's a bull anywhere. Just being red hot. Hmm. There we go. Okay, she can down a little bit. So another problem I found with the structure. Look at this. Uh, this liquid engine part, so which is the middle center part, is actually run out of fuel faster than the side boosters. Which means that, well, obviously the swivels are more efficient and they produce less thrust, so they're gonna burn for longer. So we could actually add a couple more fuel tanks in the middle section. So I've said that. Try to slow down here as much as we can. Maybe I can lend this. Success at first, then it can become a big failure. Um, okay, half the stuff fell apart. Rocket, I think, would be able to recover it still. So. Let's see. Save some money that way. It was a complete disaster. A third in science out of that. And we can recover that. That's right. Another parts. Let's recover. Recover. Cover somebody. Okay, good. Oh boy, boy. Okay. Um, reaction wheel. Add a new probe. 
That's good. I don't need pro. I don't know where that came from. I need to add two more fuel tanks here. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for today. Um, I will fix this design. Actually, well, let's see. Let's um, before leaving, let's see if we do the research again. So we got three main signs in total. So not enough. Not enough. I think flight control would be the best solution next. To get some reaction wheels here. Command pods. That's gonna be good stuff. So that's what we're gonna do next time. Until then, um, see you next time, guys. Thank you.